In Psalms 8, David changes the tone of the writing and begins to glorify God rather than pleading or asking for help. This is the chapter where David switches gears and begins highlighting God's power and glory rather than human suffering or disgraces. In Psalm 8, 4, David writes, What is mankind that you are mindful of them, human beings that you care for them? You have made them little lower than the angels and crowned them with glory and honor. David is making a point to offer prayers of praise to God. This passage is actually an intimate act of worship. Often he has pleaded repeatedly for strength and guidance and even deliverance, and now he prays and even writes specifically for the purpose of worship, to recognize all that God has done. In verse 9, David writes, Lord, our Lord, how majestic is your name in all the earth. Most people know David's story and that he is both simultaneously a flawed, adulterous killer, but also someone that God continuously uses for great purpose. In fact, even refers to as a man after his own heart. In Psalms 9:9, David writes, The Lord is a refuge for the oppressed, a stronghold in times of trouble. And later he writes, But God will never forget the needy. The hope of the afflicted will never perish. David's tone in writing the Psalms is a juxtaposition in recognizing both God for who he is and the acknowledgement of David's own brokenness and sinful nature. This perspective should reflect our own walk, that we are lost, struggling from our own sinful nature, but that God loves us and wants to use us according to his purpose. God's love for us is not conditional, even though we constantly fall short. God knows what we need and promises never to leave us or never to forsake us. So let our mentality be like that of David, recognizing our own brokenness, but full of praise for who God is.